when you understand hip hop and street urban culture, there is no greater representation of culture than Snoop Dogg. Yeah, like Snoop is like this nigga's a crip that was crip walking on. He's done, well, I mean, he's done things that no artist, like no rapper has ever no, done. And, and will never do. And will never do, yeah. 30, not not a hip hop artist, maybe like a Drake, somebody who's not of, well, per se, the culture. Artist, yeah. No, no, he's not. Okay. We're not going to do that. He's Drake, not of the street urban culture. You can't listen to music. He's a, so is Eminem not a hip hop artist? He's from Detroit. Okay. He's from the ghetto. Okay, okay. Drake is a from a middle class mm. Canadian neighborhood. So if someone comes from a middle class family, they're no, not they're hip-hop. not. No. So you have to. You, so you're telling me, in your eyes, you have to be... From a street urban community, yes. In order to be considered hip-hop. Hip-hop is the first genre of music. Forgive me, because I know everybody that listens to pop. Like, oh, you can't kick me. It's not the point. I'm saying hip-hop is street urban artistic expression. So didn't... Well, I mean, we could probably really nitpick this, this discussion and then... I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. He no, Drake no, 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 no. Drake's been popped. The He's first saying day. Drake is kind of pop. That's a different statement. The, but my, to say somebody in my top to, five, okay, Con, somebody Kanye, is in my top five. I've had that, and I'm glad you said. Kanye that, West did not grow up in the hood, and I've been thinking this whole time. He, his mother was a teacher, is, and I've been thinking this whole time. I was like, is he really? Because I think as much as he's in my top five, and I appreciate him, I think he is the problem. Do you think Diddy is hip hop? Puff Daddy? No, Puff is an executive. So you don't think? Puff Daddy is hip hop? No, I think Puff put out hip hop X. But he's hip hop. I don't know if he's we responsible for so much history. So in is hip-hop. Jimmy Iovine. <laughs> yeah, but Diddy's Diddy's produced records. Yeah, really? Yeah. Has he really? In the same way, Quincy Jones has produced records. Yes. Really? He puts the right people together look, in the right gotta, room. Forgive me, forgive me, Diddy Cup Puff. My bad. Look. I don't know, but Kanye has been my, my greatest dilemma. But if you think about it, right, this is going to sound crazy. So Kanye is in my top five because I love, you know, I think the world of Kanye. Yeah. There were times I, I've expressed to Charlamagne, I think Kanye is a prophet right. for living. So I think this much of him. But if you think about it, his first single, like he got into a car crash. Wire. Great record. Like what's an all-American car crash with insurance. Yeah, but what's wrong with that? That's nothing. That's- it's like Madonna could have made that song. That's not true. Yes, it's a middle class song about a man getting into a car accident with insurance. So you're saying there there can't be middle class raps? Yes, Drake is a fantastic rapper, fantastic. Nonstop is my shit, but that don't mean they are hip hop, street urban culture. Now a lot of people disagree with me. Some people are like, well, as long as you practice what them niggas do, then you're one of those niggas. But you know how I feel about that. Mm. But my point is with Kanye, you right? You would kick out like half a hip hop fast. That, that you'd say you aren't hip hop fast because Half. I'm gonna tell you why because look what happened to rock and roll mm-hmm. it ain't a nigga in sight look what happened to jazz cause soon as you start letting everybody in the door guess who getting kicked out first I don't think that's ever gonna happen in hip hop guaranteed they've tried it's, hap- it's only been it's only been 50 years they, they've been putting out records for 40 it's guaranteed to happen I'm not sure there's a uh, you know what's funny is I've always thought to myself, like, who's the white, you know? Like, who's the white that's, like, the white of whites in hip-hop that, like, can actually make this thing work? Like, and, like, f- sustainable long time. Let's get rid of Eminem, because Eminem is an alien. Yeah. He's, like, a anomaly in th- th- the world. 30, 40 years ago, Eminem would have been a punk rock hit. It's Eminem, by the way. Yeah. Right? If you were to yeah. say it, it's Eminem. But, but we had this conversation. Hip-hop and punk rock are brothers, stepbrothers. Right. Right? Uh, uh, um... Same father, oppression and poverty, different mothers, the area, the earth. So you, so because because this is there's a lot of artists who have families that went to college that had middle class jobs. It's a lot of people from the ghetto that went to college. No, at middle class, middle class areas, you, little yachty. Yeah, but would you really? Do you look at little yachty and be like, oh, that's a hip hop guy? Yeah. No, you just only feel like that because he raps. No, I think he, I think he's hip hop for sure. Yeah, but I'm saying because he raps. If no, he was and singing, I also think he's also contributed a lot to culture. He's he wrote City Girls Act Up. He kind of kicked off low key this whole. Fucking, yeah, but so did Jimmy Iovine. So did, it's a lot of other people. Yeah, but not the in the same way. Jimmy Iovine. What song did Jimmy Iovine write? But don't. That's not again. You're you're. Me, there's people outside of the culture who have wrote cultured songs. Okay, let me ask you a question. You're so because because I feel that. There has been, and I'm not saying I know of Lil Yachty's hip hop. I don't know Lil Yachty. There has been an uptick in completely 
In what? It's a complete takeover of middle class people. Ever since the blog era happened. Yes. Soon as college kids started dictating what was cool within street urban culture, you seen the change. Yeah, because but, it became the guys that they could deal with. Yeah, but to me, that's still hip hop. That's not. That's just music. Hip hop is the culture. Like if you don't talk it is like the us, culture. If it you is, don't talk it, like us, and, how and are you hip hop? And there's the five elements of hip hop. No, no, no. Those are expressions. How you express the culture. So I just think that like if you look at a guy, I'm trying to think of a guy. You said the blogger, so I'm just trying to think. Kanye is the greatest conversation, and as one of my favorite guys, and as one of your favorite guys. Yeah, and Kanye is probably the most influential artist of the last, I don't know, thirty years. Who did he influence? Travis class Scott. People. Travis Scott is hip hop. Middle class people. I don't even think Travis Scott considers himself hip hop. That's not true. I don't. I don't think Have so. You, did you listen to the drums on the new album? Um, again, drums are not exclusive to hip hop. I know, but just. You know, they've been having hard drums and house and a lot of other stuff that hip-hop birth. Okay, so outside of... I, but I'm not... I, again, I haven't studied all of those guys to say their shit. Specifically, I've been saying this about Kanye, and I think that's why... I, I mean, Kanye did influence a sound that kind of... I mean, him and Just Blaze fingerprints all over the blueprint. It's who, really Blink, though. It's who? Bink. Well, Bink started it. Everybody started following Bink. Okay, so if you listen to the Blueprint, right? Yeah. And then after the Blueprint, everyone started sampling. But it's all based off Bink. Okay. This is it's important to know this truth, and and they're all. I think that's an opinion, though. No, this is a fact. I don't think you can say that like Just Blaze and Kanye weren't chopping up samples before Bink. They wasn't doing it the way they were doing it on the Blueprint before Bink. That style, that's that sound that was birthed out of that is Bink. Well, the credit. Goes to Bink. I'm saying the general public would credit the Blueprint as the album that kicked off a sonic wave of like people sampling. Sure, like Again. high pitch samples. Again. Again, I'm with you. I'm all in. I'm just saying there's a fact, and then there's the ignorance. Okay, so are you telling me Kanye is not hip hop? I'm telling you that's that's been my dilemma, right? Because because he is hip hop. Well, this is the problem, right? He's I, Kanye West. This, but that doesn't mean anything. It does. That don't mean. First off, nobody in fucking hip hop put Marilyn Monroe up on a fucking wall as a kid. What do we, what's I don't understand the correlation between missing, Kanye and Marilyn Monroe? Because he talked about putting up a poster because of Marilyn Monroe on his wall. But what's wrong with that? Why the fuck would a nigga from where we from put up Marilyn Monroe on their wall? Because they think she's hot. No, none of us think she's hot. That you're speaking for a lot of people from the ghetto. I speak for all of us. I'm sure a lot of people in the ghetto would clap her cheeks. None of yes, we would anybody's, but we wouldn't think she's hot. It's too many hot fucking sisters from that time. He compares Kim Kardashian to her, like yeah, but Kim K is is lovely. You don't you don't, you don't no, she's not. You don't think Kim K is lovely? No, she was okay. She was a regular. You think she was okay? Yeah, she was a regular. They used to have them in Glendale by the by the barrel. There was Kim Kardashian's by the barrel. By the barrel. In Glendale. That's that's the normal fine girl in Glendale. in Glendale. That's the normal fine girl in Glendale when you go to the scenes. I'm in Glendale a lot. Yeah. I live in in Burbank. They just Glendale. don't have the plastic money. Well, I just don't see. I, I've seen. I don't see by the barrel. I, I see them by the. Shout barrel. out to the beautiful Armenian women who are in Glendale. Of them. They're great. They're fine. And they they're Kim not Kardashian. Kim K. Yes, they are. They Kim Kardashian fine. All of original Kim Kardashian. I, I not this version. I don't know what's going on. I'm not saying that there aren't some Kim Kardashian fine or Armenian. A lot women. of them. I'm just saying that I think that you're uh, you're overstating your point. No, a bit. no, no. I'm telling you the truth. Listen, if you think about it, right? Listen to every other thing you loved about hip hop growing up. Mm -hmm. Right? The struggle, the 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 ideas, even how they party. And I then, liked. Hey, you know what I liked? What? First of all, I love Doggy Style. Sure. And the other album that really, I like the, kind of like the horror, demonic mystique oh, of Bone God. Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> the Ouija, no, are you with me? Moment, moment it was the me. melody that did it for you, though. <laughs> they had the Say, best. Mr. Ouija. And you know what else I liked? What? They had the best harmony since Beach Boys. Probably. Bone I mean, had like hey, fantastic listen, harmony. East, I mean, I can tell you like from Creeping on a Come Up to East 1999, Art of War, man, God, Bone, again, somehow criminally underrated. Super. Uh, I also really enjoyed Brother Lynch Hung. Lynch is dope. I got that nigga for about four zones. I had to get dirty on him. Yeah, Brother Lynch it. had yeah, a... That's just tough. I always give props to his album, Season of the Sickness. It was a very uh, dark album where he talked about eating children. I like Lynch. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with Lynch. Lynch is a nut. But the point I'm saying back to Ye, right? So it's Brother is, Lynch hip-hop. Uh... I, 
I would imagine so. He's from like a really fucked up ghetto in sack. But him talking about eating children. But I think he also created. Would not be the, the, well, something that a normal dude from the hood would talk about. Well, it's not. Cor- I mean, he's like he's like um, Neither, Edgar Allan Poe. Also, here. also Bone Thugs in Harmony talking about playing around with a Ouija board and talking to uh, the. You that's know. not that far fetched, but from that's not you. But, you used a Marilyn Min- Monroe poster no, on the wall. Let, I'm saying let, let's start with Kanye growing up in middle class area in he did? Chicago. Okay, right? so that's different than Bone and Bone in Lynch. Cleveland, Brother Lynch and Sack. Them them people are from places houses was thirteen dollars for sure. Right, so that's different. Houses might have been thirteen dollars in Chicago. The houses is thirteen dollars in Cleveland. Right, you can get houses in Cleveland right now for about seven thousand. Let me know where duplex. I got you. I got. You. I go out right there. Where Bone grew up at. Yeah, shout out to uh, the, the Cavaliers. Get so so tickets. what my point I'm saying to you is, I'm not, I haven't came to a great conclusion. It's Kanye West, so it's hard to challenge that type of legacy. But if Very you think about it, but if you think about it, right, his first song is about a car crash where he had insurance. But what got everybody is the fucking black music he sampled in Shaka Khan. Mm-hmm. That carries the story. Kanye is the best at using black music and finding a place where he meets black people at. Remember, hip hop is almost like. I don't think to, Kanye makes. He's a black artist. I, I, yes, but but when you say black, right, it's 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 as simple as he's a black man making music. Right, but he's not the first artist to sample black artists. No, no, but he's he's fantastic at it. Yeah, like when I tell you what he does with that Shaka Khan, and but if you listen to a lot of his songs, even the depth of his struggle is very. Eddie Winslow. But like. you know what it was what was dope about Kanye is that his struggle was relatable to white people. To a lot of people. To mainstream America. Because if you could talk about how you hated working at the mall at the gap. That's like mainstream. No, okay, but 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 like imagine if Snoop's first album is about him talking about having a problem working at the mall. Made, but that's what made Kanye different was he was a fucking pop artist you could relate to him no. versus you couldn't relate to none he of these other he was not a guys. pop artist he was making some backpack dope rap shit but he was talking That's about not backpack to work at the mall because this is the the minority of the of everybody aren't in gangs and aren't involved in street life and that, not but, in, but then whether or not they grew up around it would you would you that, at least say that most people Period. No matter what the race of them or, the, or, or where they're from, are not tied up in street life. Are civilians? Is that fair? Most they're not from the ghetto. Okay, people from the ghetto have normal jobs at the mall. Has, no, they don't have them at the mall, but they do have normal jobs. Are you trying to tell me people from the ghetto don't work at the mall? Yes, but that's not. That's a wild thing to say. That's, that's a very wild blanket statement. You're, you're pushing it further, right? Let's no, because what up. I'm saying is that's Kanye, not where most of us work. Kanye at. made and made music for the normal person. That's what pop art. music no, is. No, pop music. Listen, this is what you got to understand. Is that not what pop music is? Because for the there everyday people, there, person. No, but you're trying to you're you're essentially trying to say, well, Kanye was making music for uh privileged people who had normal jobs. I did not first off, yes, it's not you're not privileged if you have a normal job. That makes you mainstream American. But even people, let's say from where you're from, right? But that, but but even then now you're talking no, about No, I'm asking you that. Sure, 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 sure. So people from where you're from, right? Yeah. You're, let's say your neighborhood. Yeah. What percentage of them are actively Throughout their life, practicing involvement in, let's say, street culture, illegal activity, gangs. We, we all talk the same way. So that's I'm not talking about talk. But, I'm talking about. You, I'm talking you, about how you get your money, the lifestyle you live. You can't pick the part of the culture you enjoy, right? Because De La Soul is culture, right? But it don't mean that. It but don't what mean I'm somebody. Is there's listen. probably people from your area, well, hands down, but who listen. had to get up and go to work and do their normal job. I got homies that got jobs that were Kanye shit and was like, yo. This dude's talking about working a, a fucking overtime shift at a retail store. This That's is amazing. fucking pop music. No, it's not. That's normal middle class shit. That's what pop America is. So you're trying to say Kanye wasn't making hip hop? That's not what I'm saying. I have. I told you I've been having this dilemma in my mind to okay, say so, that. So you make a lot of blanket statements. That no, I'm, I'm giving you 
Really consistent statements. Well, consistent. Cons- considering all of your statements, according to your logic, Kanye is not hip hop. I'm thinking about it. I've been I've been on this plug because I've been saying for years he's hip hop. But then I think about it, I'm like, that's why Black America is disconnected from him right now. They well, like, I think they also might be disconnected because he said some wild shit. No, and, he did. He said the same shit he's been saying since wait, the first day. And he has been wrapped up in a very unrelatable culture. Whether it's the Kardashians, whether it's you know why. Huh. Because he ain't that type of guy. But he was that type of guy. No, he wasn't. He was just doing it over Shaka Khan. And the other thing, well, okay. <laughs> That's what I'm starting to believe. So you're saying- I was like, he always been this crazy nigga. Kanye is like, so- So do you think Playboy Cardi's hip hop? No. Okay, I gotta ask. But he got some dope shit. The, the first one. But all that weird devil shit, I, I had to slap a little cuz. Like, all that whole ass shit they doing with the devil, that will be good cuz, I don't like that. Yeah, I know you do. I hate that. You love you some little Nas X, though. No, no, little Nas is cool, cuz. He just fake gay. I told you. (laughs) You gonna see one day. It's gonna come out cuz fake gay. What does that mean? He's playing for the money. So you don't think little Nas X is gay? No. No, I don't believe cuz is gay. I believe they paying cuz, and he know his play, and he running his play. Why would you not? It's niggas who do it in gangster rap. It's niggas who do it like they fake D-boys. Why would you not be fake gay for money? Especially if you're young. Why you hasn't more people been fake gay for money then? They, it has been people fake gay for money. Fake gay? Yeah. It's a How lot do you of fake, fake gay the gayness? Easy. You act gay for money. People, like a fake gangster rapper. Like a nigga who act like he a gangster, but he's not. I think there's probably more fake straight people than fake gay people. I would agree. Yeah. I'd agree. For, I for sure would agree. Yeah. But that don't mean Lil Nas X is not straight. I think Lil Nas, Nas X is, uh, is gay. I don't believe that. And I think it's... it's he's gay facing you think he's gay? I know we talked about this last time, but I, I just don't know if that's a that's I don't know if that's the uh, that's what, that's on my that's on my way. If he really wanted to like lean into something, he would have just been the country artist. He couldn't, he, you know, that's not gonna work. No white folks ain't fucking with that Negro. They did when Old Town Road. No, came they out. didn't. No. I don't know. Money man, where's he from? Money man. Money man, you listen. I, to money I, I don't. Man? I haven't. I haven't. Li- so listen. So first off, I can't talk about Travis Scott, but I think Travis Scott has Middle defined class his family. sound. But I think he defines his sound as uh, what is like rave or uh, what's rage. That? Rage. No, he's making hip hop. But, but he's defined his music. Uzi defines his music as rock and roll. I think Uzi defines himself as a rock star. Yeah, that makes rock music. No, he yes. doesn't make rock music. Yeah. No. But again, this is my point. See, see how you see how you lay and claim to that. See how you won't let niggas be nothing else but rappers because they. Snoop rap? Dogg's a rock star. Yeah, but but no, he's not. What do you mean he's not? He's Snoop Dogg. He's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's in every Hall of Fame. Yes, because he's, he's in a the rock Human star. Hall of he's Fame. He's a hip hop star. He's a rock star. He's a pop star. He is the guy. Yeah. But but let me make my point before we get lost. Listen, I, I haven't studied none of those other guys, so I can't comment per se on Yachty because I don't know Yachty's story. I don't know Trav's story. I don't know them, but I don't think they define themselves and I think they will, maybe Yachty would be the closest person that could consider himself hip-hop or would. Well, his dad was a big photographer. He did photos for Dead Press. Tight, tight. Uh, But he didn't grow up like, like from what I understand, he grew up like with, you know, like a middle class kid. Yeah, and I'm not saying I don't I don't know I had to really study it before I say that. Trav, I think he defines his music as something else, and I think Uzi defines his music and his existence as something else. But I think because they use rap immediately, everybody classifies somebody black in rapping as hip hop. And it's fucking fucked up. If Uzi Uzi as black people created rock and roll, right? Mm-hmm. He can go in and define it as he want. That's his claim to write. You can't look at Nirvana or no U2 and then say he got to make music like that. We did it the first time so we could redefine it the second time. Okay. It's fair of him to do that. But what I'm saying is, back to the point we were saying in my neighborhood, being in, in street urban life is not necessarily, you know, being a criminal. Like, there's a lot of people, like, LL wasn't a criminal. There's people who grew up in the same culture. Well, what I'm saying, though, is that there are people who aren't criminals, who maybe they're they're gravitating. They gravitated towards college dropout because, oh, this is something different. I'm not disagreeing. This is, this is actually... I liked it as a criminal, but that's not the point. I like Michael Jackson. I like a lot of pop artists. But I'm but saying, the- like, if I... Like, to me, as somebody who was wearing a Best Buy when I was 16, I was like, oh, shit, I get it. This motherfucker's rapping about... 
We're gonna have a, a do, shitty retail I job. I bet you do get it. That's my point. I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, but I grew up. <laughs> I didn't grow up middle class. That's I grew not up what I, poor as I fuck. I know you did because Phoenix got some fucking crazy, sick ass poor places. Yeah, they do. Yeah, sick that nobody talks about. Yeah, sick some crazy shit. Shout out to Phoenix because they go through some shit and nobody talks about it. It's true. But the point I'm saying to you is, when we saying this, it's like everybody that grew up with us talked the same way. Everybody who grows up with us eats the same way. Every everybody who grows not, up, but that's not universal. That's where you're at, that, right? But, but that's all street urban culture. So it's a way that no, niggas. Because people in, in Atlanta are different. People in Gary, Indiana are different. Every ghetto. People in Cleveland are different. Every ghetto. Yeah, there is no middle class culture. There's only tradition in middle class and in wealth. There is no culture. So therefore, how could you have hip hop somewhere where there's no culture? So if Drake, let's say Drake, for example, shout out to Drake. Do you think the Beastie Boys are, are hip hop? No, they punk rock that made a hip hop album. Okay, do you think License to Ill is hip hop? Yes, they made a hip hop album. Okay, so that's hip hop. I agree, because but they actually, punk rock. They started as punk rockers. Punk rock and hip hop right. are step brothers. Okay, Run DMC. A, what? They're hip hop. Uh, listen. Correct? They're, of course. Do you, do you, do you think that Run DMC, like obviously Run DMC is kind of looked at as like the first like, I would, would you say like pop hip hop group in terms of like their popularity, in terms of popularity, when we uh, use the word I, I, popular. Yeah, yeah, I guess to some degree. Um, would you discount them working with Aerosmith? Because no, no, I don't think, I think you can work with whoever you want to, but I think hip hop is more, as much as street urban culture is defined through crime and, and densely populated crime rate neighborhoods, it don't mean everyone's a criminal. I didn't say I didn't say that no, was the no, case, no, 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 which no, was no, my I, point. I know. Not everyone's a criminal. So but, but, but. I feel like you were pretty much saying, nah, where we're from, this is what we we don't we don't fuck with no. regular mall jobs. No, that is, we, we're we're denied mall jobs. That's not true. Yes. I, have you been in the mall? Yes. I've been to the mall in the worst areas. Yes, yes, yes. I got some of the my worst type of friends I, I, working so, at the I, mall, I, I, stealing not, out of the back I'm, of a footlocker. I'm, I'm not saying that. Right? Allegedly, saying, back in the day. I'm saying the poverty and the oppression. Here's a, here's, a, here's, a, here's a richer conversation, but let me get that point off. I'm saying we're all, the culture is created through the crime. The crime happening to everybody, whether you're involved or not. You know, what the crime that is to education programs, to where the education programs are trash and you don't speak great English, so y'all make up slang. And y'all all talk the same way. It don't matter if Cuz got a job at the mall in the hood or if he's selling dope. We all talk the same. We all got the same lingo. We all do the same thing. I, this, is the, this is what I likened it to, and this is going to be crazy because, you know, you're a white man, and this conversation is funny. You're a nigga, but you're a white man. The point I'm saying to you is there's always been three black cultures in America, right? Mm -hmm. Or three, the ideas of three identities. There's a slave, you know, American slave culture, right? That's where you get soul food. That's where you get all that. There's a freedman. Since the first day black people have been on this planet, especially in this country, there's been free black people. And then there's been slave masters, a smaller culture of black people. It's not a culture. It's a tradition of life. That's really small, minute of black Slavers, right? That's there. Small freedmen, slaves. Kanye is a freedman. His whole conversation is freedman. He has no idea what niggas from where we from are talking about. That's why he'll say something like, slavery is a choice. Kanye reminds me of a kid that got to visit his cousins on the plantation. It was like, well, we need to leave here once this weekend. When I go right. home, y'all go with me. That makes sense. That's how he talks. Because his mind, and that's what middle class does to you. It creates a place to where the world is limitless the world is not like like your world is not real to them it's, it's, it's the upside down right okay that's fair that's what hip-hop is but again because people want a piece of it and it's like it's something seems so cool they want a piece of the lingo they want a piece of the get down but they don't want a piece of the consequence hmm. that's why i'm really careful with who i say and who i believe represents me as a ghetto person from hip-hop now if i start allowing somebody like drake forgive me drake again Shout out to the homies. It's no disrespect. But if you don't speak not one thing on what's going on with black people in this country, not one stance, not one. Why? Well, that's none of that's this. been my biggest critique. I don't even care because he's Canadian. Right. But I, I just I just feel like he doesn't ever have an opinion on anything. But except now he's wearing rainbow clips. So you're endorsing movements, but you're not endorsing the people that put you in position to be where you at now. Yeah, I, I do think it's like interesting that like like why you don't have shade for no why your shade is for Joe Budden and he he not first off a rich Jewish man right bragging about being rich to some nigga that come from the ghetto like Joe Budden's that shit is like 
cringy. Where it's like, well, I just think. I mean, I said this on Twitter the other day. I said, uh, I don't think Joe Budden said anything that was unfair, or disrespectful. And I'm not mad. And I'm not mad at Drake being offended at his critique of. Cause Drake I'm a little. A, I'm a little mad at that because I feel like Drake. Bro, you have to understand, like, people are going to have an opinion about your music. And, and can, as long as they're not crossing the line or they're not saying anything And he different. should be able to have an opinion about them. But my thing is, why does it go right to what you have or money? Like, you're, like Drake is actually a talent, talented, right. accomplished MC, record-making fucking monster. Yeah, why go to... Money. I have a private jet and you have to take first-class flights. Because you're a money. rich Jewish man. Right. That's like being a broke black person. It's like that's how common to 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 the main ears that sounds. It's like you gonna talk about yeah, a mean, nigga it, being it, broke. It wasn't. It, yeah, it wasn't necessary for sure. So I'm not mad at him, but he could have talked about so many things. You know what I mean? And that's what hip hop is. It's bearing the burden of street urban culture. You have to represent. Right. See, when you don't have when you don't have to represent nobody, Jay could have never went out like that because he represented Morris in Brooklyn. He had to. That's the only way he could garner support. Snoop could never. You, you know another reason why Snoop is such a fantastic hip hop artist? He will never break Crippen. He defines Crippen how he wants. That's what Crippen is all about. Mm. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't break them that one rule about no snitches, you could do with Crippen as you please. Just don't make nobody look dumb. And Snoop has done a great job of not making people look stupid, and he never broke away. When you don't have to bear the burden of culture, when you don't got to represent, hip-hop is all about representing. The people we talking about, do they fucking represent? Do, do people from their community feel like this is our spokesman? Right. Like, when I talk... Rest assured, any real nigga from Watts, most niggas from Watts gonna be like, that nigga is all right. Yeah. Niggas from LA gonna be like, glasses is all right. Cause I, I have to, I can't do no sucker shit. How I'm gonna show my face in the 60s? How I'm gonna show my face in A trays? How I'm gonna show my faces in the Grape Streets? How I'm gonna show my face in the East Coasts if I go looking dumb? I have the burden of representing ghettos. That's what hip hop is. LL had the responsibility. LL and Nas had to represent Queens. 50 had to represent Southside Queens. Jay had to represent Brooklyn. If you don't got to represent shit and you can still be successful, nigga, you are not one of us. If you can embarrass us every week. You don't think that Drake represents Toronto? No. All right. Not the streets. I mean. He represents Toronto as the Raptors represent Toronto. And he's their guy. Like they, I think Drake. My problem is Drake represent black people. Right. And we be looking like, cause what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like what the fuck? Cause why would you do that? But the problem is when we try to hold him with our ghetto response. He's not a ghetto kid. Right. He don't come from the ghetto. He don't. If you got to think morale and street life create standards, create morals. You know what I mean? The religion, excuse me, and street life create. Morals. Mm -hmm. Without it, America is just like a dog eat dog place. Right. They fucked up. Yeah, I think we can at times be unfair towards Drake because he is such a just massive shining star in in hip hop. I think that at times Drake does things where I'm like, okay, you're like being a little too emotional towards Joe Budden, like to discount him as like a failed rapper is unfair. I, I don't I don't I don't really care about that. I, I do think though I what do th- I care about is some fucking hair clips. Uh, see, th- 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 I don't I don't care. Yeah, if you go going to door, why don't room, you like the hair clips? Because why are Snoop, you doing Snoop Dogg had 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 a lot of shit going on with his hair and so does Sugar Free. Yeah, but they ain't putting rainbow hair clips. That's a purpose. He's doing a lot of things on purpose to do certain things. And I mean, I'm asking you, why you ain't stood up for no niggas if you're gonna stand up for somebody who you're gonna represent? You who's he representing? You think he's representing the, the you alphabet know he boys? Is. You know he is, and that's his thought. So. I don't think so. Then why would you put rainbow hair clips in your head? Why does the rainbow got to be exclusive to something that... that, that it, it, it ain't a god. No, it's just, what if he bought a pack of hair clips and they came in multiple colors? Why does everything have to have a specific meaning or agenda attached to it? Why Drake's hair it? clips don't mean anything except for their hair clips. You really believe that? Do you think Drake purposely said, nah, give yes. me the rainbow pack? Yes. No. He's that's that crazy. You don't believe Drake. Drake is like one of the greatest minds, like Kanye you think West Drake, in hip hop. Let me tell you something. Not see the problem is is let me just say this. The problem is certain like in 2023, 
for whatever reason, we always have to put a meaning or stick some sort of agenda to something that it don't got nothing to do with. Because we all know it means something. It doesn't. It does. It's just hair clips. No, it doesn't. It's not. Are you serious? Not, if I were- so you, Do you think Drake's hair clips are him endorsing yes. a certain lifestyle? Yes. Really? Yes. Why? And it's the mainstream thing to do. What does that mean? It, that's the thing to do at a mainstream level across the world. That's what every pop artist would be doing across the world. That if people not crazy. This not by accident. You think this shit by this nigga is brilliant. Like Drake is. So what is Drake's agenda with his colorful hair? Uh, clips? Now we finna go into some details, but obviously what is what is your uh, perceived he, he's agenda? He's obviously uh, endorsing right, which I don't care about that. But my thing is the niggas who made you famous. Mm. These niggas in America, these ghettos, because we pushed cuz. Like he couldn't just be a pop star and be that. We push cubs. Okay. The ghettos push mm-hmm. cubs. We said the females, the black women from the ghettos push cubs. Mm-hmm. You ain't said nothing about nothing happening to these sisters. You ain't posting nothing that's happening to these sisters. You not saying nothing about no nigga. And I gotta let that go because you was Canadian. I'm like, you know what? He don't have to get fucked. What happened to American niggas? I don't disagree with you. Sure. On that point, because I do think at, at certain points in time, it'd be nice if we knew what Drake thought about. I don't know. George Floyd or Breonna which, Taylor. Which I'm not even asking that because most pop or, artists. Or, or, you know, he lives here a lot. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of turmoil he, he going on with here. our political sure. system. Just any sort of opinion. And I'm okay with that. I'm, but I'm like a, you said, he's Canadian. Yes. What do you think about Justin Trudeau, Drake? Facts, facts, facts. What do you think but, about but, the Canadian I, truck I'm not, drivers I'm not, who... I'm not mad because that's a hip-hop responsibility. Okay, okay. But, and so that's so I think that's you. separate than you thinking that but, there's but an you, agenda with his hair clips. You're missing the point of somebody that's so brilliant to know not to speak on something. He's so smart. This nigga... Him and 40 are some of the best scientists I've ever seen in the music business. Like, when it comes to creating records, marketing, and understanding well, how to market Well, Drake's success, like Michael Jordan, right? Like, Michael Jordan purposely has said... Republicans and Democrats buy both of my sneakers. Why would I take a stance on any of this publicly? Because then I, I, I kind of... And Drake's kind of the same kind of guy. Yeah, but... but Drake, it's, Drake appeals to everybody. Yeah. And I don't think he wants to fuck that up. And, and, and I'm not mad at that. But my thing is, right? That's why... You know who else does that? Pop stars. Yeah, I mean, there's also artists... In there's hip-hop. no hip-hop artists that do that. We won't even let them go. We won't even... Nick, if you try that... If you try that and you represent us, it's a problem. Wait a minute, you're not going to speak up? Thug said something like, oh, we ain't talking about that shit. We talking about young niggas. They was asking Thug about the boy that got killed, Mike uh, in Ohio. What's brother? Yeah, name? yeah, yeah. Um, Mike, uh, Michael. Mike Brown. Michael Mike Brown? Brown. Michael Brown. And it was like, yeah, you know, he was on the red carpet. It's like, you know, how you feel about Mike Brown? He's like, oh, man, we ain't tripping off that old politics shit. We out here getting money. Niggas fell apart. Oh, my God. You motherfucker. And this nigga is a nigga who do drugs. He, I don't even think we should even really want his opinion. Because right. he go through so much That's mental fair. shit and be high. You yeah, know? yeah. You're not going to look to thug for political views. But he still has to because guess why? He is from the ghetto in Atlanta and we like, you better talk. You better speak for us. And that's the responsibility of hip hop. I don't give a fuck if it's Tribe, De La Soul, anybody. You are responsible for speaking for us in hip hop. Okay, so. And if you don't, we look at you funny, but the only people we don't worry about is people that ain't hip hop. So what's the issue with uh, with the hair clips? Not that I have no issues with it. I'm saying this no, is. I'm the, asking you. This is the first. So you are. You, you so, so you are. He's purposely. Your doing stance this, is he's purposely from the nails, the hair. He's gonna keep going. Okay, so do you think Andre 3000 was doing that in '96, '97 when mm. when when he was wearing certain? No, I just and, think he got Erica Badu pussy, and that pussy is some shit. Okay. Drake ain't got no Eric Badu pussy. What about Thug? When Thug wore a dress on his album cover? Yeah, I think Thug is from Atlanta where the street urban culture is tied into homosexuality that for some reason nobody in Atlanta talks about. Mm. It's like right there. Like I've never seen a bigger demographic of gay black folks in the ghetto like Atlanta. Never seen that. Do you think it's possible Drake just got a bag of hair clips? No, zero chance. Okay. He's too smart. He's too smart to just do something and don't have so no idea what it means. you think it's impossible? It's, it's impossible. Zero so percent. Uh, zero percent. Zero percent. Zero percent. Not even a half a percent chance He's, he just put some hair clips in his no, hair and they happen to be winning, different colors. No. Zero chance. What? Zero chance. He's Drake. He's Drake. Drake is brilliant, dog. 
This if there's a confusion, guy's... Drake is fucking brilliant, dog. Oh. Him and Forty together, dog. Them niggas could put shit together. The Are shit you talking about E Forty or Forty the producer? Forty the producer. Okay, okay. Like he could come with shit, bro. They could push shit together. Like some of the shit they be doing music, I'd be like, fuck. Like you know what I mean? Because you got to catch up to this shit, and it's like. Fuck Like this is how Smart they are He's a marketing ma Fucking machine You know what I mean He knows Well I think that you're You're reaching I understand why You feel that way Because it would actually mean You would have to be accountable For decisions you make No I just And we love a world where We could just make people I just think that not But in hip hop We have to be accountable I just think not everything Famous people does Has an agenda attached to it I know because you Which it don't make sense Because you would think That some of these people Are some of the greatest Marketing minds ever and you would think that they would accidentally do something, even I mean, though they've been controlling the narrative for 20 years. Okay. Switching subjects. Shout out to Drake. Yeah. Shout out to Drake. 